everyone, Tamson here. I realized I'd never introduced myself. Hi, I'm Tamson or Tammy, and I am what I consider a gorilla spinner because I am self-taught and I will try anything. I don't care what the rules are. I'm going to try it anyways. I realized when I came down to film that not only am I using my King Falls AM mug, I'm wearing a King Falls AM shirt. Appetite medium range. If you listen to the podcast, you'll understand that. If you don't listen to the podcast, you should go listen to it. So since I did some dyeing, I have not been able to stop thinking about this braid. I will post a link to the dyeing video in case you want to watch that and see how it was made. I am so curious about how this is going to spin up and what would be the best way to spin it. And I've gone back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And I just can't decide. So, because of lack of decisions, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into three equal chunks. And I'm going to spin it three different ways. I'm going to do one chunk just from the end and see what happens. I'm going to take one chunk and I'm going to split out the colors and then I'll spin a bit of color, then a bit of white, then a bit of color, then a bit of white. And for the last one, hmm, maybe I will split it vertically and do it that way and see what happens. So I'll make three singles and I'll chain ply the three and we'll see what we end up with. Alright, I have the results 
of our spinning experiment. So this one was separated into colors and then spun in blocks and alternated with the white. And you can see we got some fairly bright, undiluted little batches of color interspersed with some white. Let me see if I can get a better view of that. This one, we stripped into quarters and spun. Now I over twisted this quite a bit, so I will have to probably run it back through the wheel to chill that out. So our colors ended up barber pulling a lot more and making for softer blends. And then this one, I just spun right across the top, just spun it from the end. And you can see that our colors softened up in a lot of places. And we got a bit of barber, barber pulling happening. So let's put all three side by side and see how the colors look. All right, so this side is the spun across the top. This was divided into quarters and this was divided into colors. So you can see there's really not a huge amount of variation in the colors. So any of those would work. I was just curious to see if any of them would have like a vast difference, like a real stunning difference, but they're all kind of the same. The center one, I would say, would came out the lightest. And the dividing it into colors, which is the bottom one. So spinning across the top actually kept the brightest shades, I think. Even dividing the colors, other than the yellow, really pops. But I think spinning across the top turned out pretty damn nice. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. And this is another experiment that I've done. Uh, if you like the content, please subscribe. Stay with me while we do all this crazy stuff and just try things out and experiment. I do the experiment so you don't have to. Because, you know, I have lots of fiber. So I can do these experiments without wasting precious fiber. So if you get a braid you're not sure what to do with, experiment. Try it. Enjoy. Talk to you later, guys.